In this video, we're going to continue working on the hotbar, and by the end of this video, we'll have a scrolling functionality that looks like this. And to do that, let's go to the user interface script. And here we have the input function. So it'll be nice to handle user input like scrolling up and scrolling down to change the active item. Before we add code in here, let's go to project settings and the input map tab, and let's add an action. And we'll call it scroll up and scroll down. And let's add a mouse button and it'll be wheel up button and wheel down button for scroll down. Now that we have the inputs defined, we can handle it in this function. So if event is action pressed, scroll up, then we got to do something else if event is action pressed, scroll down. In here, let's call a function in the player inventory autoload script and we'll make it afterwards. And let's just call it active item scroll up. And we'll do the same thing with scroll down. And let's go to the player inventory script. Let's first add the constant that tells us how many hotbar slots there are. And there is eight. And we'll also add a signal, active item updated. And this signal will be used to tell a slot that it should update its style or refresh its background image. Let's also add a variable that keeps track of the current active item slot. And we'll just initialize it to be zero. And this represents the index of the active item. And let's scroll down and let's implement the functions that we called in the user interface script. So the first function was active item scroll up. And here we want to increment the active item slot variable active item slot plus one. But this is not enough because say if it goes out of bounds, we would want to wrap around and go back to zero. And the way we do this is by doing the modulo function or the modulo operator with the size of the slots. So in this way, if it goes past seven, seven plus one, it'll equal eight, but we want to do modulo eight and it will equal zero. And then once this variable is updated, let's emit the signal that we created above active item updated. And let's create the scroll down function, active item scroll down. And this one is a bit simpler. So we just have to make sure if it's zero and we decrement it, it will actually go to the last slot. It can't go to negative else we just decrement it normally. And then we also finally emit the active item updated signal. Let's go to the hotbar script. And under this for loop, let's connect each slot with the signal that we created. So the way we do this is by doing player inventory dot connect because player inventory has the signal and the signal name is active item updated. And what we want to connect it to is the slot. So the current slot that we're on is slots at I, and we want to connect it to the refresh style function that we have. And if I go to the slot.gd script and scroll down, refresh style. So we want to call this function every time the signal is emitted. Let's add in the selected style. So let's go to the top and do selected texture and we'll preload it and we'll click and drag the image and we'll just drop it in there and then we'll also create the style box texture and all i'm doing is just copying how i've done it for the default style and the empty style so i'll copy this and replace it with selected and do the same thing with the texture before i go and update the refresh style function we need to let the slot know what kind of slot it is. Is it a hotbar slot or an inventory slot? And we can start off by creating an enum called slot type. 
and there's two slot types, hotbar and also inventory. We can probably add more later on, but these two will suffice for now. And let's also create a variable called slot type. Now we need to initialize this slot type. And we can do this in the inventory script and also the hotbar script. So let's start off by going to the inventory script. And all we got to do is in the ready function under the for loop, let's initialize the slot type. Slot type. And we'll slide it. We'll set it to slot class dot slot type dot inventory because we're in the inventory. And we'll do the same thing in the hotbar. So let me just copy this line right here because we will need it in the hotbar. And I'll add it to the top and we'll do the same thing right here. Dot slot type. Slot type and it's hotbar this time. Great. So now the slot knows if it's a hotbar or an inventory slot with this variable right here. So this will be useful in the refresh style function because we want to make sure that the active item texture is only applied to hotbar slots and not inventory slots. So let's add another if statement here. If, so the first is we want to make sure that it's a hotbar slot. So we can do this by doing slot type dot hotbar is equal to slot underscore type. Also, we want to make sure that this slot is currently an active slot or the selected slot. So we can do an and statement and do player inventory dot active item slot that we have stored. And if it's equal to the slot index, then we can set the custom style. So let me just copy that from here paste it here, and then replace empty style with selected style. And that should be all. So let's try playing this and check out how it looks. All right, so definitely doesn't look like what I thought it would look like. So let me close this, try to figure out what's wrong. Oh, I think I see the issue. So selected style texture is shouldn't be empty texture. It should be selected. Must have forgot that. Let's try playing this again. Yeah, so it looks good. There's one issue though. So we're able to scroll through the items, but my scroll up goes the other way. It doesn't feel too intuitive. So let me just quickly change that. We'll go to the user interface script. I'm just gonna swap these two lines by calling down and up. All right, that's much more satisfying. So when I scroll down, it goes down the hotbar, and if I scroll up, it goes up the hotbar. Great. So now we need to be able to click and drag these items. And I'll go over that in my next video. Thanks for watching, and take care.